That's amazing. Good boy, Hunter. It's been a few minutes since we've administered the anesthesia. That's good. That's pretty good. So he's, he's just gone unconscious now, so we really have to move quickly, get in there, um, and just make sure that uh, everything goes to plan. Still a bit of stimulus there. We have to make sure to time this to the gnat's eyebrow because we're sedating a very large animal and as a side effect of sedation, sometimes they have a little trouble with their breathing. So we don't want to have any lag time between Hunter falling asleep and getting to the hospital. There's a little bit of eye twitch, but that'll be the ketamine, won't it? Yes. Yeah. So as long as he's got no... If you flick um, his ear, there's nothing there. No, there's no ear yep. flick. Yeah. When tigers are under sedation, they take either very, very shallow breaths or they hold it for a while. He's slightly aware. So physiologically, we may be able to stimulate breathing by tapping on him, by rubbing him vigorously. If he'll take a breath from that stimulation, then we have a better chance of getting him breathing regularly. There's the little one. It's really important the vets intubate him, so put the tube down his throat, get him on oxygen. So I'm going to need to put my arm in to feel where the larynx is. So this is a little bit of a risk for me. <laughs> Tongue? OK. There's a breath. There we go. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, Hunter. Yeah, that's getting a bit of a reaction. And so we just need to work quite quickly to get that tied in and then we can actually yeah. breathe for him if we need to to get him a little bit deeper. Do you know just pull him out and yeah. put it in here? Everything's gone like clockwork, but at 278 pounds, it's a lot of tiger to get on a stretcher, so it's very exciting. OK, great. OK, yep, we're good to go. Great. Let's watch his paws. We'll take him down to our veterinary clinic, which is on site, and the specialists have a very close look at his eyes to see if, uh, if everything's going well with the implants. Good grief, buddy. Here we go. Oh, he's sliding off. Sliding off. Yeah. Hunter holds a, a very special place in, in all the handlers' hearts. We'll definitely be praying that he comes out healthy at the other end. He's breathing quite well. Yeah, we're pretty good to go, I think. We really want to have the other uh, specialists tell us that his eyes uh, are fine, they're the same or even better would be good, because I guess he's one of our favourite cats. We've got to make sure that, uh, that he comes out healthy for sure. Pop him up here. Do you want him to go forward a bit or have Yeah, him... maybe just forward a little bit. Yep. So he's a bit warm. OK, so we'll just get him re-stabilised now that we've got him into the surgery. We just need to make sure that his anaesthetic depth is good. We're getting his IV line hooked back up again. We'll start doing a temperature and a heart rate and then we'll be able to do his exam. It's nice that we don't have to do this very often. For the most part, simple vet checks can be done hands-on without sedating him. But for something as intricate as checking his prosthetic eyes, it's important to have him completely sedated. Pauline's our specialist veterinary ophthalmologist who comes and does lots of work with us. So, does lots of species and today she's looking at the tiger. Uh, we will need to turn the lights out for the procedure, won't we? So, we'll go ahead and do that now. Pauline's just doing what's called a Schirmer tear test, so it's measuring tear production. Just making sure that he's got adequate lubrication naturally in his eyes. So, his production's always been a bit low, yeah. so he will need to keep on the, the lubricating drops, yep. Yeah. So Pauline's just using a magnifying glass to have a really close look at the eye and see how the prostheses are seated and just make sure that they're looking like they're not causing any irritation or discomfort. It looks intact and, yep. and happy. Great. So we might try and have a look at the other yes. side. Looks good. OK. So that eye looks good that, as well? That eye's fine. It's yep. as good as it was last year. OK, last fantastic. Time. I think if... There's been no deterioration and he's maintaining well. We'd probably yeah. keep, just keep going just as is. Yeah. And if the outcome for his eyes was, was positive. I'm very happy to hear that there's been no major changes. What we're doing, the veterinary staff and specialists want us just to continue. 
and uh, as far as they can see, he's a really healthy individual. Well, we'll keep a really close yeah. eye on those, and um, we'll see yeah. you again in 12 okay. months. OK, good on you. Thank Great. you. Thank you. So I did like that. We'll keep a close eye on it. <laughs> What we're going to do now is just work through his physical examination for his annual health check. Uh, we'll give him a nail trim, we'll grab some blood from his jugular vein and we're going to give him a vaccination, which is just a standard domestic cat vaccine that he has every 12 months. Sarah's going to open his mouth for me and we're just going to check the inside of his teeth. So that's just a bit of tendon from one of his bony feeds that was just stuck in there. So we'll just pop that out for him. This is an incredible moment to be able to have such a close and special experience with a tiger. More for me than for them, this is totally awesome because I don't get to hug on Hunter because he doesn't know me as well. So it's very special. So we're going to move him now. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, Tarzan, do your thing. Yeah. Anesthetics off. Yeah. All right, let's go. 287 pounds. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. I don't think there's anything ordinary about working with a tiger in this manner. While everything is done safely, you have to keep in mind that this is a large carnivore, and it's an animal who cannot see, so may overreact if something untoward happens. <laughs> Good? Yep. Wow. Yep. Ready? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got going on. All right, so this is his reversal agents just going into his muscle, and it'll be just a couple of minutes before that starts to take effect. Shut you in, Jeff. Good boy, buddy. As soon as he starts to swallow, Jeff will pull the tube out. We need control of his airway until he gets his reflexes back. A little bit of stimulus there. Mm. Good boy. So he's had a couple of deep breaths. He's developing those reflexes that we're wanting to see. Good yeah, boy, Yeah, I buddy. think that can come out now. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Good boy. Great. So if you can just make sure his tongue's out nicely, yep, yep and keep his neck extended. That is he, oh, if he's pulling it back, don't worry. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. That's exactly where we want him. He's got oh reflexes back in his tongue, which means he's going to be able to keep his airway open for breathing. Oh, boy, buddy. It's really important at this point that Jeff's there talking to him because he's used to human contact. <laughs> good boy. He's moving his head now. That's a good boy, buddy. <laughs> that's a good boy. Yeah, so at this point we'll leave just to minimize stimulation, but he's going really well, so. Oh boy, Hunter. Thankfully, the doctor has given a really positive outcome for Hunter's eyes. Good boy, Hunter. Okay. He'll need to continue having his eye drops, but it's a wonderful end to a, a very concerning procedure. Just fell asleep on some straw, didn't you, buddy? been very lucky. I've worked with the cats here we have for 14 years. Yeah, and dry tongue. Hey, mate. You spend more time with them when, than you do with your own family and pets. Uh, a little bit wobbly yeah. on the paws. That's a good boy. They're more than just animals in the zoo. They're friends of ours. They're mates of ours, you know? So anytime any of them are sick or unwell, it's like a member of the family being hurt or sick. Oh, buddy, a bit early. Especially when they get up and try to run away. Good boy, buddy. Well, it's been two days now since we did the general anaesthetic with Hunter. He woke up no problems at all. He's basically back to his normal self. Not even knowing that he, uh, he went down to the hospital to get his eyes checked, I guess. Hunter, target. Good boy. Very happy to say that uh, the whole process was very successful. We found that the eyes were fairly healthy. Target. So for us, we'll just keep monitoring it and Good then uh, have another checkup in 12 months' time. What do you think, buddy? Uh, Are you going to make a mess of this? It's so special that Jeff's able to have a relationship with his tigers. And this includes an element of trust between himself and these beautiful animals. Oh 
He's someone who doesn't take it for granted, and he loves each and every tiger very much. Oh, boy. What do you reckon? <laughs> Go, buddy. I hope that Hunter has a, a long, healthy life with us here at the zoo. I know I'll be doing everything I can to ensure that happens. It's just there, buddy. Go and have a look. That's okay, a good boy. boy. The other staff we have working here, the other handlers, feel exactly the same way. <laughs> Right. I just want him to um, to enjoy his life with us. Oh. Yep. 